you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we're going to be going over a ton of announcements and news. Now, not that any of them are, they're not massive, but there's tons of them. Tons of things went over in the stream today. It was a quiet day in Madden, of course, as per usual. But there was some pretty decent stuff to announce. And guys, these aren't, like I said, massive. But a lot of these questions will answer a lot of questions people have been asking. Such as, like, card art things, journey bypassing. Because a lot of you guys have been asking me, like, I know this was a big issue yesterday with Byron Jones. Everyone wants to power Byron Jones, who did want to power him up. Went to power him up, and we're like, we don't have his journey. Some people quick sold his journey and couldn't get him. Some people just didn't have the journey done. You're like, damn, I guess I can't power Byron Jones. They did go ahead and address that. I'll go over all that. I have a pretty large list of notes here to go over for you guys. So we'll go through it one by one, kind of go over all the cool stuff in here. Some of it's cool, some of it's fun, some of it's useful, and some of it's just aesthetic. But I'll go over all that as we get to it. Now, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to go down below, as always. Give this video a big thumbs up. Always drop a like, boys. It helps the channel out tremendously. Make sure to go, drop a sub on the channel, and turn on that notification bell, boys, to join the family. I appreciate each and every one of you that come out every day. Thank you so much. Make sure to check out today's later video as well. Just a quick reminder for you guys, because by the time you're seeing this, that might be up already too. Oh, well, I mean, if you watch this later, of course. And always comment down below if you guys have any questions. Now, let's get into the first line of things here. So first thing is stay and play. So Madden 20 is implementing a stay and play type of thing, as you guys know with the whole world right now. Part of the stay and play is more than likely this weekly challenges, as you guys have probably seen here. Don't know where they are. But... Pretty much what it is with the whole world right now with the whole uh, COVID-19 concerns and everything with people trying to stay home and self-quarantine. They're trying to inter impl like implement a stay-home thing. So like online websites are giving you free shipping to make sure it comes to your house. Uh, video games are doing like stay and play, which is pretty much like giving us things to do to stay home and play, make sure we don't go out. So one of the things was the weekly objectives course, and they're going to start doing stay, uh, stay and play codes. But they're going to be dropping like uh, codes for free Madden 20 for people to play, maybe codes for players. I don't really know how they're doing it yet, but it will be on their Madden Direct Twitter. So go over to Twitter if you do have it and follow their Madden Direct page and just turn on tw uh, tweet notifications for them. They're giving out some pretty good information as well as potential codes, which you can then give to friends to play Madden 20 with. Or if you don't even have Madden 20, you're just watching right now, or you game show, you can get your own copy. And there's gonna be stay and play content. They said they don't have anything planned just yet. This is just the tip of the iceberg, but there could be stay and play content, like stay and play solo challenges, maybe stay and play more objectives. But as you guys know, they already do have the objectives in place, which I cannot seem to find. I saw them just yesterday. I'd have to imagine it should have been in here. Guys, I've seen it. I'm telling you, I've seen it. It's pretty much like the, uh, the play, Five weekend league, 50k, play 10 weekend league, win 10 weekend league, uh, another 50k, and all that stuff. That is part of the stay and play clip stuff, but stay tuned for that. Now, guys, as well as there will be a special stream, I believe, tonight at around 7 p.m. It will not be content based, it will be a pretty fun stream with an NFL player. It's gonna be, I believe, Juju Smith Schuster. Now, he's pretty much gonna be playing Madden, he's gonna be streaming it live. They're gonna be putting it over on the EA page. So, if you don't follow him on Twitch, which I don't know what his Twitch account is, you can head on over to the EA play or not the EA play, the EA Madden, which we all watch every morning. And go ahead and watch that. He will be streaming some Madden. It'll be, it looks like a fun time. Though I think they, I don't think they said there'll be drops. But if you guys want to watch Juju Smith, an NFL player, live streaming, seems pretty cool to me. Keep your mind off things. Keep things nice and light. I think that's pretty cool as well. Now coming on over to some other stuff, Madden Ultimate Team in game related is going to be the card art. Now, as far as card art updates, this is pretty cool in my opinion, which I cannot directly show you guys. I don't have Byron powered up all the way, which actually I believe at this moment in time I might be able to actually do. So let me see if I can do that now. Pretty much what they did was they added updated card art for their new teams, which is super cool. Now, if you guys don't already know, the way it's going to work is pretty similar to the way the card art worked with... Oh, they do have it. Okay, so the free agency card art here, and this is the locked one. So as you guys see, free agency... Let me turn this face cam off real quick so you guys can see that. Free agency Byron Jones on the Miami Dolphins. It's very cartoon-based, kind of like the NFL 100 was. NFL 100 was. I think it's super cool, super cool card art. They have this with every player who got into a new team. So whenever Clowney gets on a new team, they might give him his update. Uh, Tom Brady's on the Buccaneers. They have Byron Jones on the Dolphins. I think this is super cool. I mean, it's it's a nice little ad because as you guys do know, they don't have official pictures of them on the team yet. And instead of Photoshopping it, they just go ahead and make a nice cartoon edit of it. Now, as you guys know, super cool. I thought this card art was cool. This might even be cooler. And then Brady as well on the Buccaneers has that. I think the card art update's awesome. It adds some more fun. A lot of people have been wanting to see that because a lot of people hate it. Like if they're a Buccaneer fan, they picked up Brady now. They don't want to see him in a Patriot jersey. You don't want to see him like that. It looks a lot cooler. And it's just something to add. I mean, obviously it's 500, but that's really, guys, 500. I know you guys want to complain. 500 training at this point in the game might be like 500 coins. It's really not a lot at this point anymore. So it's really not horrible. It's not expensive at all. Maybe like a few thousand coins, if anything. Really not bad for a nice, cool update. Now the players that I do know, Brady got a new update. Uh, Breeze, 
Breeze it said Breeze was on updated card art too. I guess he's just staying with the Saints. I don't, I don't understand what that was. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins now has the Arizona Cardinals update, which is super cool in my opinion. Let's actually go check that out. I do have Hopkins fully powered up on my team. And by fully, I mean fully powered up to when I got him. Not to, not to date. But let's check out that card art. That's probably super cool as well. And then as well as guys beyond that, there is the Journey Pass option for Byron if you guys are not looking. Now, is it, oh, there we go. That, that's, that's cool. That's good. I like that one. DeAndre Hopkins on the Cardinals. I do some cool, there's some cool card arts now. Beyond that, journey pass option for Byron and Michael Thomas, which you guys didn't know. This is super cool because yesterday a lot of you guys were trying to, like I said, trying to create By Byron or use your power pass. And you can't use your power pass till you get him to his high overall. And there was no pass option for Byron, which I thought was kind of stupid because they give you the option to quick sell your journey Byron Jones from the solos. They've given you that option. So then, which is kind of ridiculous, now if you want to power Byron later in the year, you aren't able to because you didn't have his next you didn't have that card you're stuck there so i mean obviously there was no other power up option i don't believe beyond that byron so i guess it wasn't that big of a deal to most people but now it was as well as same thing with michael thomas who again that was that was worse too because michael thomas had quite a few cards since so in that case like i think i believe it was 6700 as you guys probably saw there not a lot at all probably like what is that 40 40k ish if you buy in bulk maybe i don't know the exact price of training at this exact moment in time but I do know it's not horrible. Maybe about 45k max. Really not bad. Get past that card right there. Go all the way up and you get a nice 99 Byron Jones. It's going to be all training skips. He did not have any other cards. But glad they added that because I did not feel like playing Journey right now. And that's definitely a nice add to everything. Next, Weekend League is open, guys. I guess that's part of the stay and play as well. So for all you guys who have never played Weekend League before because you can never qualify, go test it out. Go test the waters. I'm telling you guys. Even if you suck and you can't, you're not good at Madden, you will get disconnect wins. You'll get a few disconnect wins. You'll get people who like people like me. Sometimes I just join a weekend league just to test out a player. Like, I wonder how this new Mahomes I got to play. I don't want to play a full game. I go in, I toss a few bombs, I'll drop 20 on you real quick, and I'll back out. I don't I'll give you the win. I don't want the win. I don't plan on playing. You probably need the win more because you actually want to play. There's people like that. There's YouTubers are going for game plays. And as soon as they get in, they're not feeling the game, they quit. Just trust your waters. Try it out. And just for competing, win it win like three or four games. Even just win five games. Five out of twenty-five, which is a very bad ratio. And that's still that's still doable, even if you're bad. And that will get you 50k coins, plus trophies, plus another coin reward, and a few packs. It's really not bad. You probably get like 80k total plus some packs from that. It's really a decent value considering and it is open to everyone. So guys, as far as if you guys actually do play this consistently, you guys are competitive and you like weekend league, or even just above average players like me. I'm above average. I'm not great, I'm just above average. Guys, with it being open, there's going to be a lot of those other guys who just hop in real quick just to test the waters. A lot of easy wins for everyone. The guys who aren't good might get a few wins. You might even get matched with other guys who aren't good. I just recommend you go test the waters with Mal. We can link in. Yes, there's gonna, you're going to go in first game right now after I say that. You're going to get matched up with uh, one of the competitive players. I don't even know their names. A Skimbo. You're going to match up with Skimbo. He's going to kick your ass and you're never going to play again. But then you join the next game. You're going to get matched up with random user 456 who has base elite 80 overall. Jameis Winston, which isn't even a card at quarterback, and you're gonna kick his ass. It's gonna be, it's gonna go wishy washy. That's how the, the matchmaking is horrendous in Madden. You're either against God himself, or you're against random six year olds who have gotten his dad's Xbox account. There's no, there's no in between, guys. But beyond that, guys, there's also a title update coming later. Now, title updates, they're, they're all over the place. Sometimes they help us, sometimes they make the game worse, sometimes they're cool, sometimes they don't even affect Ultimate Team. They did announce it on the EA Ultimate Team page. But the thing with that is, we don't know if we'll be for Ultimate Team. Sometimes it's just like um, live playbook updates, which I don't think that makes sense because we're not in the season anymore. A jersey update. It could be putting Brady on the, you know, putting them on their teams with rosters. We don't even know if they do that at this point in the year. But the point is, that's a title update. They said it will be minor. It will not be major. So don't expect some massive update. Going to be something small. So I don't expect it to affect us too much. But like last time they said it, we had a small update. They fixed run committing, which didn't do too much, to be quite honest with you guys. But it still was a nice step in the right direction because run committing was horrendous. You ran commit, they would just somehow man block every single one of them. And they know, like, there'd literally be seven guys running into five and then all just get stuck. And then you have to bomb down the field. It was, it was not a great mechanic. They fixed it a little bit, not to the greatest extent. But you never know what could be coming today. Maybe they fix a few things that are important. Maybe a glitch in Madden that hasn't been going well for a while. Maybe, we don't know. But it's going to be coming out latest today. I believe that time was... Later today, was it 3 to 4? I think it was around 3 to 4. They said it will be coming out later than usual. Because most title updates usually come out between like 11 and 1. This one they said probably like 3 to 4, which is more than okay with me. I think that pretty much wraps up everything, guys. So as a recap, Juju Smith special stream tonight. Check that out around 7 p.m., I believe. Stay and play codes on the Madden EA Direct page. Stay and play content, which hasn't been released yet, but I'm hoping there's more. Free agency card art, Brady Breeze, Diggs, Hopkins, Byron. There was a little more. I missed a few of them. 500 training to do those card arts. 
Journey past options for Byron and Thomas. Weekend League is open and title update coming later, guys. Pretty much wraps up all the morning content for today. Hope you guys did enjoy today's news and updates. Hopefully, yeah, you guys found this a little interesting. I know this isn't the typical kind of video I do. I usually do it more based on Madden actual content, but this is stuff that does apply to us. It's kind of just, it's like literally answering like the FAQ, the frequently asked questions, all the comments I'm getting about card art and people on different teams and pass options. I think it answers everything. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like. As always, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. And thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.